Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss uh, special GL transactions. There are three special uh, GL transactions in SAP, uh, namely guarantee, down payment and bills of exchange. So special GL transactions. Guarantee is one of them. Then we have down payment. And bills of exchange. So in today's session, uh, we'll be focusing on down payment. So when down payments comes into existence, now down payment ca can be of two types. Either we pay in advance, Or we receive in advance. Uh, so uh, we will be paying in advance only in case of vendors. Vendors, uh, when uh, we'll be uh, receiving goods and services, uh, while in case of receive in advance, will be from our customers. Now, uh, Vendors are denoted by letter K and customers are denoted by letter D. Now in special GL, uh, now in special GL transactions, we need to create an alternative account. Alternative GL account. And this alternative GL account, uh, the postings shall be done in vendor's GL account, but it will be reflected in uh, uh, alternative uh, GL account. It will not get posted in their respective GL account. So in SAP for vendors and customers, we create business partners and those business partners are linked to a GL account, right? So uh, when we make down payment or we receive down payment, we bring an alternative GL account into an existence. And these alternative GL accounts are linked to their respective vendors and GLs. But the entry of down payment will not be reflected in GL account. But it will be reflected in vendors account under BP. Now, uh, two types of entries in special GL transactions, uh, noted items and offsetting entries. Two type of entries in special GL transactions. What are these two types? Number one, noted entries or noted items. And second is offsetting entries. Now what are noted items or noted entries? Uh, this means it only notify. For example, uh, for making down payment, in case of vendors, we need to generate a payment request first. So this payment request will not affect any GL account. So this is what noted item means. So, uh, so against which no entry is passed, right? While in case of offsetting entries and alternative payment or alternative GL account comes into existence and it automatically gets offset. Uh, this was This was just a concept. I'll show everything to you practically. So let's move ahead and do everything practically. The basic settings are very less. The concept is there and we need to understand the concept. Um, so let's start. Uh, let's see it on our SAP screen. So the first step is we need to have GL account for, we need GL account for advance uh, given or advance receive. Uh, let's see the GL accounts first. FS00 is our T code for 
creation of GL accounts. So this is my company. Let's see in case we have a GL account. So accounts payable and account receivable, other current assets. So in other current, current asset, I have already made this advanced given account. Advanced given account, I, wait. So in this case, in case of vendors, we need to create advanced given account. While in case of uh, customers, we receive payments, so advanced receive account. So this would be a current asset and this would be our current liability account. So I have already created uh, my advanced given account. You can see it here. Let's see the configuration, how we made this account. So this is a balance sheet item under current assets, advanced given. Uh, I already have my vendor account here. So the vendor is created, uh, the business partner is created, the business partner is linked to my vendor account. Uh, now we are uh, one step ahead and making down payment. So now advanced given account. Then INR. Again, we'll uh, classify it as a vendor account. So for now, I have not allowed, uh, uh, I have uh, take the posting without tax is allowed. And it will be a reconciliation account. So that's all. That's all. So I have this one uh, GL account. So what I need, I need a vendor account and I need a GL account. Uh, what we need to do next is to link these accounts. So for that, we need to go in on a cast customization screen. So for that, we will just type SPRO. SAP reference IMG. Financial accounting. Accounts receivables and payables. Right now, I am explaining the vendor transactions and in the same way, customer transactions takes place. So under this uh, business transactions, now here we have two options, down payment received and down payment made. So in case of vendor, we make down payment. So let's do settings under down payment made. The settings are similar in both the cases. We can see. So in case we need to link the receive account, we just need to uh, define reconciliation account for customer down payment. But right now we are doing down payment in case of vendors. So we'll define alternative reconciliation account for down payment here in down payment made option. So in this C, uh, the account type is K. The account type is K for vendors and D for customers. For this, as we are making down payment in case of vendors and vendors are current assets, basically current in nature. So this will be our current asset. And the next, uh, this one A, uh, let's select this option. Our chart of account is ISH1 only. And here we just need to uh, link our account. So 850, I have already linked my account. So 8502, this vendor ABC, I have given 4501. Also my other uh, vendor account, I can, I can assign one advanced given account. I can just keep uh, one alternative GL account. So for 8501, I'll also attach 4501. So that's all I have to do. Moving ahead, I also need to make uh, 
make changes in this payment request also down payment request these two options we shall be working on my request are basically my noted items So 8502, 8501 vendor also, I will, 8501, and 4501. So that's all. This is the basic settings we need to do. There is no other backend configuration that is required uh, in case of down payment. We just need to link our GL accounts with uh, our vendor GL accounts with our uh, advance given and advance received account respectively. And in the same way, uh, in case of down payment receive, we need to link account. We need to link our customer account. So the account type is D. See, D is our account type. And in the same way, down payment and uh, down payment request, we will just add the accounts. Uh, so now what uh, will be the process? The What is the process of down payment? So the first thing we do is we request down payment. First thing we request down payment, then we do down payment. Then invoice comes and we do invoice entry. Then we, then the down payment is adjusted with invoice or against invoice. And lastly, we do the clearing. Clearing or net payment. Right? So let's start with step one. Let's start with step one. We need to request down payment for that. We need to go on our easy access screen here under accounting. We have financial accounting accounts payable, then document entry. Here we have option of down payment. So now these three steps. So the first step is request. Then we have to do down payment. The third step is we uh, the invoice uh, would come, the goods would receive. And then lastly, we would make the payment and do the clearing part. Okay. So first, let's request. Document date is... DP request. Our vendor account is and a special GL indicator would be this A down payment current asset. That's all. Enter. Let's enter amount. Let's enter amount of 5,000 rupees. Uh, due on today's date. DP request. Okay. And let's save it. The document 1212 uh, was posted in company ISH1. Let's see the document now. Now, FBL1N is for vendors. So let's open vendor first. 
a vendor was eight lakh two. So here we have we can mention normal items, special GL transactions, or and noted items. So I have selected all these all items and execute. So now under eight lakh, see this KA transaction F five thousand. So now uh, I want to show you uh, that how it will look in the GL account. Now the GL account attached to eight uh, lakh two is eight five zero two. I'll show you that account as well, and uh, you will see that this special transaction is not shown in that GL ledger. Rather. Uh, it has automatically posted in advance given ledger. Let me just show you FBL3N is for my GL transactions. Eight five zero two. All items normal noted. Execute. So the entry of 5,000 is not posted here. The 20th, there is only one entry for 20th. That is 20,000 somehow. But no other entry is posted. On contrary, we can see our uh, advance given account. That is a hidden account. Basically a hidden account to our vendor account. Okay. FBL3N. I don't remember the account number. I'll just see it from here. Back FS00. In other current asset, we made this 4501 account. Let's see the 4501 account. Oh, 501. All items. Execute. See here, a, a 5,000 entry is posted. Okay. So let's moving ahead. Uh, so now what we have done, we have just made a request. We have just, we have not made the payment yet. We have just made a request. So in this case, uh, no payment account is uh, uh, got hit or no vendor GL account got hit. A hidden account uh, like my advance given account got the entry got hit on this account. Also, it got uh, we can see this entry on our uh, vendor line items in FBL 1N. Let's move ahead. And uh, we have already made a request. Now let's let's do the down payment. So the document would, would be of today only. My vendor account is eight lakh two. And my bank account is my bank account is HSBC Bank. And the amount was five thousand. Value date would be of today. Special GL indicator would be A. So 
So let's simulate this entry. See. Even you can see the posting key. My bank account is reflected, but but my 29A, this is my hidden account, will get uh, will get swipe or would get set off, not swipe. So let's save it and see the impact. Uh, so now this is my advance given account. Let's see what uh, impact we have in this account. See now, uh, now the set of entry is done. I have made the request and now DP is made. I've made the request first and now I have made the payment as well. I've affected my bank account. Okay, what effect will be there in my vendor line item account? So uh, before that, uh, the entry is uh, the 5000 down payment request entry is showing. If I'll refresh it, still, uh, still there would be an entry of uh, down payment. Now the down payment is made, it will show See, it will just set off the entry. Okay. And now uh, let's see our GL account. This GL account is for vendor only. Let's refresh it. Again, there is no effect on this account. There is no effect on GL account. There is no entry is being posted in this account. Okay, so this was the second step. Uh, moving ahead. Now what uh, we have made a down payment. Now what we need to do. See, we have made the request first, then we, uh, we have done the down payment. Now we have to book an invoice entry. I will just write down the amount as well. So 5,000, 5,000 we have made the down payment. Let's, let's make an invoice of 25,000 now. Twenty dot ten dot twenty twenty two. Eight lakh. So now this is my invoice, my rental invoice is generated for which I have made a down payment of rupees 25,000. Uh, let me just save it. Now my uh, entry is reflecting in respective GL. Uh, the next step what we need to do is to, uh, now we need to adjust our down payment against the invoice. Let's do that. So we have made the request, we have done the down payment and now what we are going to do, we are going to do the clearing part. Dot ten dot twenty twenty two reference DP clear. Our vendor account is. I think this is our last invoice. Let's 
let me just have a look also refresh this is my gl account for vendor abc group my invoice must have been posted under this 1213 is my document number so let's clear this document process down payment Five thousand down payment. It is showing. What we need to do is to simulate and see the entry. Now this is how my entry is going to look now. And I'll save it. Okay, I need to do some corrections. DP clear. So my entry is posted. Now we'll be able to see the down payment entry here in GL. Let me refresh it and show it to you. See, now 25,000 rent amount and DP. Earlier, my GL account was not reflected or this amount was not reflected in GL, but now this account is posted. Okay, so this is my GL account. Now that's it. What else we need to do? We just need to make a final payment. Let's do the final payment as well. This was the entire process of my down payment. Uh, let's do the last payment entry, document entry, outgoing payments. Let's post. So we have uh, our invoices of rupees 25,000. We have made 5,000. Let's, let's do the 20,000 payment entry or 10,000 payment entry. Let's do 10,000 payment entry. Our bank account would be HSBC account. So let the amount be 10,000. I'm not clearing the entire payment. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping some payment for later. My open clearing account is 8 lakh 2,000. 8 lakh 2, sorry, not 2,000. Let's value date 20.10.2022 process open item so let's select all then deactivate all items now what all items we need to select is this down payment of 5000 rupees and this 20000 Okay, so now uh, 5,000 we have made down payment. Uh, then we adjusted this against each other and now we are making payment of 10,000. So what would be the balance amount that be remaining? This 25,000 is our invoice. We have made a down payment first and now we are clearing 10,000 more. So 10,000 would be remaining, right? Uh, we have selected a wrong amount account. This we need to select. Fine. The remaining is 10,000. Let's do the residual. Minus 10,000. Enter. So now the amount is settled as we have assigned it properly. Okay. Let's simulate it. Let's simulate and see what my journal entry is. So the payment I'm making is of 10,000. Then my, uh, my vendor account is getting reflected. Clearing. And save it. So that's all for today, people. Uh, this was our down payment uh, 
session uh, he hope uh, it was a productive one thank you all for listening and that's all for today have a great day